Hey guys, I wanted to go over some of the settings on the new IP cameras from Dawa that have the AI. I know some of you have already started installing these and um, asked some questions about how they're set up. So I wanted to go over some of the various options and settings on the camera. And this is specifically an IP camera from Dawa with AI. Obviously we know that some IP cameras from Dawa don't have AI. Uh, this camera here also has the true color lens for nighttime uh, visibility, and some of the cameras don't have that feature. And then, of course, we also know there's DAWA recorders with AI um, that could handle a standard IP camera or a standard analog camera and put AI on the recorder side. So I don't want to uh, confuse that right now. This is just the IP camera and how we could set it up. Um, so on the settings of a camera, First thing I'm gonna do is go through the true color side. This camera is set to auto by default and all of these true color cameras are set to auto by default. That just means that the IR will turn on at night and give you that black and white uh, image with color, I'm, I'm sorry, with the IR enabled. If the camera has the true color, we want to enable that true color and hit save because that true color lens is so much better at night than the IR. Um, now that's assuming that there's a little bit of natural light in the area. If it's in a location where it's just pitch black, like a warehouse, that IR might be better. Um, but outside where there's some natural light or there's some street lights in the area, that true color lens is gonna be significantly better. Um, the next thing I wanna go to is the event setup. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the general motion detection. This is only important if the camera's AI uh, will be used with the checked bridge. Uh, both the general motion and the video tamper many times is enabled for these cameras. And if the bridge is going to be pulling the AI off of this camera, you need to disable general motion and tamper uh, for both uh, on both of these tabs. If you disable that, it probably will impact also the, the tags that are created on a recorder for general motion. Mm -hmm. But in the event that the camera is being used with a bridge to create AI events, it's going to be important to do that. And what we found, though, sometimes is this just gets re-enabled. So the other thing that you should do is go to the settings and check all and then just change the time frame to... Uh, all the days of the week and then just change it to you know for one minute after midnight and hit save and save that there as well you have to save it twice and then also you can remove the detection area and save that so what that's done is just remove general motion from being enabled on the camera and then the same thing for tamper change the the time frame and make sure you check all for all the days of the week and then just you know, go from midnight to one minute after midnight and save that. And that'll just ensure that if this tamper or motion detector, uh, motion detection re enables, the time frame that it's enabled for is only for one minute a, a day. Uh, the next thing I'm going to go to is I'm actually going to go to the IVS setting. And this is what Dawa calls their uh, AI setup. By default, there's no events created or rules created. To create a rule, you just hit the plus sign and you can create a various number of rules. The only two that we've really worked with at this point is the tripwire or the intrusion. So I'm gonna say tripwire. Once I do that, the rule is actually set. I can go and draw a line and I can just click on the screen and then draw a line across. Click a second time and you can see another line wants to be drawn. If I only wanted to draw that one line, I would right click. If I want to draw another line, I would just go to the second point and click again, and then it allows me to go uh, to another point. Now, let's just say I only wanted to draw those two lines. If I right click, it dis that third line disappears and that's saved. I can change my entry points if I want to come in and out or just out or just in. Uh, in this case, we're going to do in and out. And then I can create an object filter that will attempt to detect humans and vehicles. So that's the tripwire. So I'm going to leave it set like that, and I'm going to hit save. 
Now, if I need to create another rule, I can do that. And if I'm going to create an intrusion zone, let's just say uh, I can draw the rule. And this is more like a box, kind of what you've maybe been accustomed to on other cameras. You just draw that box. And when you connect that last one, um, it'll complete that box. And then again, you can do, in this case, if you're doing an intrusion rule, you, you need to do appears and crosses and then enter and exit. Uh, that way, if the, the reason you want appear is because if the cross rule, if the camera misses the cross rule and then an object appears inside that box, the camera will create an event for that. So I'm gonna create that and hit save. So on this camera, I've created two, rule, two rules. One of them is a tripwire and one of them is an intrusion zone. Now, something that's real important is if you don't enable IVS on the camera, these rules won't do anything. So I've created two rules, but the camera has not, that does not have IVS enabled. So if I go back to live, you can see that this camera doesn't have any of those rules overlaid on the screen. So I'm just showing you that as an example. So if I go back to settings and I go to the smart plan, you'll see three different plans. I have to click IVS and I have to save that. Otherwise the rules that I created aren't doing anything. And that's important also. So now if I go back to live, you'll see those rules on the screen. You can see that here. So. On the settings, if you don't enable that IBS plan, then the rules that you create don't do anything. So that's really all I wanted to go over in this video. So uh, let us know if you have any questions, um, but thanks for your time.